guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be teaching you how to get this makeup look i'm very excited because today we're doing an updated in-depth makeup tutorial Yay! i just hope it's going to be really good i've been telling myself i'm going to make this video for the longest so it is long overdue with that being said let's get straight to the first step of my makeup tutorial first things first i'm just gonna go ahead and lay my eyebrows down with the anastasia brow freeze my go-to i'm just gonna get into it i like to brush the front of my eyebrows up and then just go ahead and frame the rest accordingly just something like that we're getting a little up close and personal just gonna do the same thing to this brow my makeup process has definitely changed a lot over the years. I used to use dip brow every single day. I used to swear by it and now I use eyebrow pencils. Don't mind my nasty ass brush. It gets the job done. I kind of try to get them to look the same in this process just so it makes my life easier later on. But it does not need to be perfect. So now we're going to move on to skincare, skin prepping. I don't necessarily do a lot of skincare. I really like to have a moisturized base. I've been using this Good Molecules Daily Moisturizer. It's lightweight. Another tip just to give you guys is never to be too harsh in this area because it's very delicate and later on you're going to cause yourself wrinkles if you just pull too hard around here. So try to be delicate. I know it's hard especially when we're like taking our makeup off. Just a little side tip for future. Caffeine eye cream by The Inky List. I have like genetically bad bags. This helps take care of that a little bit. I have been using this Embryolisse cream for the longest time now. Every single makeup day, this is a necessity. Um, I found it on TikTok shop. Everybody goes crazy about it, and this literally is something to be crazy about. I love it so much. I wasn't too much of a big fan of the Snail Mucin. I tried that, and it just didn't stick with me, but this stuck with me. So yeah, we're just getting this everywhere. I just started using this pore primer by Benefit. I really liked the Milk Grip primer. That one's still really good. I'm just running out of it. But this one I like specifically to get rid of the look of my little pores on my chin, around this area, and on my nose. That's all the areas that I use it. Chin, nose, and a little bit on my forehead right there. So like in my T-zone. We're going to conceal my brows. I swear to you, I've been using this brush for like four years now. This is the Morphe M421. I have been using this to conceal my brows for the longest time. My favorite brush. I swear by the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I'm using this in porcelain right now. This is just an OG. It gets the job done. This has never let me down. Never. Conceal them as good as I can and then I fill them in later on. I just feel like concealing them first, laying them down and everything. It just makes it easier for me to work with and not to overfill my brows because I don't like them to be too dark. This is basically what they look like. It looks a little crazy now but I'm going to get back to it. Just to go ahead and blend this out better, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques brush. It's the Domed Shadow Brush. What I do differently is I don't put foundation under my eyes. I actually just put concealer because I put a lot of concealer. As you can see, I have dark rings under my eyes. <laughs> but um, I like to let the concealer sit so it gets more coverage. Again, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way in porcelain. It looks something like this. Then I'm going to be using the Kosas Concealer B13. And I'm just going to put that on my nose under my nose, on my chin. This is just lighter coverage and it still gets the job done. Now moving on to my base, my foundation. I actually just let this sit for a little bit, but I usually pick between these foundations. If I want more of a full coverage, I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and it's super good. More on the expensive side, but I really do like it. Or if I just want to like not do too much, I go in with the Fenty Beauty Age Drop Blurring Skin Tint in 6. This one I usually go for more. Or I go in now with this e.l.f. one. And it's kind of like a skin tint too. I think I'm going to go in just with the Fenty and show you guys what I usually do. On my face, obviously. Okay. I scribble on my face. 
gosh, girl. Got total. I'm gonna use my Real Technique brush and Expert Face Brush 200. Just gonna go ahead and dab that all over my face. And it just gives me the perfect amount of coverage. Not too much, but not too little. And the shade match is really good. Put a little bit on my forehead. Now I'm just gonna go in with a damp but not wet beauty blender. Nice and smoothly. Now I'm gonna just get some setting spray, my MAC Fix Plus, and spray my face. I actually like to blend out my concealer with a brush and then I'll go in with my beauty blender after. I'm just lightly going over it. Going over it. Now I'm gonna go in with a second round of concealer. I know this may seem too crazy for some people, but it's just what I do, it's just what I do. Take what you need and leave what you don't. And I'm gonna take this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer. This concealer is fair, and I'm just going to put it in the inner corners just to brighten up the under eye a little bit. going to let this sit, and now I'm going to get into it with my cream bronzer by Anastasia in amber. Get the cheekbones. Oh, and this brush is the Beldilium Tools in 942. You can just see my eyes popping over there. Try to be soft. I use the end of the tool and like go in circular motions. Now I'm going to go on my big forehead. I gotta get in these little corners to start blending this out again with the brush and then we're gonna go in with the beauty blender. And yeah. Remember to be really soft so it looks like airbrushed. My boyfriend slash baby dad made me a grilled cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now back with this cream bronzer, I'm gonna use this Morphe M166. I'm gonna use this to carve out my nose. So I'm going a little bit more in than my natural nose line. And I drag that up to my eyebrow, a little underneath my brow, just like that. So this is what the nose contour is looking like. I just kind of try to make it as narrow as possible. And then now I'm going to go ahead and put a line about so. You see that right there? Kind of just drag it. And then I put a little one right here. That button nose effect is what we're trying to do. It's okay if it's not perfect. And kind of damp it out with this beauty blender. With the same brush I've been using, my Real Techniques brush and domed shadow brush 314. Blend it out with this one. I swear this brush comes in handy. So something like that, you see it already helped diffuse the lines. So this is what our nose contour looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my cream bronzer with my bronzing powder. This one is by Bobbi Brown. Sorry, it's dirty, but this is in Golden Light. So we're just going to go over basically everything we did. Same brush. Now we're going to set our eyes, our face, everything. I use these three powders. First, we're going to go in with my Huda Beauty one. This is in Cupcake. I get these beauty powder puffs from Amazon. You could get like a... 10 pack for like five bucks. Shape out my nose contour. Go under the eye. In these little nose parts, I absolutely need powder, so I pack it on there. Under the nose. Just get in between my eyebrows, a little on my nose, on my forehead, on my chin, basically everywhere. Now, while everything is just setting, I'm gonna be using this Dolce Vita NARS blush. It is so overused that the top came off but i really do like this blush it lasts really nicely a real techniques brush in multitask brush and this is 407 i really do like their brushes so i just go up my temple lightly if it looks like i'm pressing hard i'm really not i'm holding it lightly at the edge and going in circular motions go to the apples of my cheeks and dab a little bit getting somewhere now I go in with my MAC Studio Fix Plus, whatever the heck it is, in NC35. This is a powder foundation, and I use this to set my face as well. But before I do that, I'm just going to go in with this soft blending brush, and I think this is by Sonia Kashuk. Take off this powder. Use the same powder puff thing and go in there and just go under my eyes and set everything this i feel like just brings it all together this is what the base is looking like 
And now, I know you're going to call me crazy, but I go in with this NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. And I'm just going to go in the inner parts of my eye because it brightens it a little bit. <coughs> We're going to get into the brows again. I use this CoverGirl um, Brow Pencil in 715. Before, I was using the She Glam brow pencil and it worked wonders you guys for two dollars and it lasted me like three months but yeah i'm just lightly going in as you can see there's already a difference that's why i kind of like doing my eyebrows the way i do them now it's so not overdoing them and i just put some hairs like up front like you know pushing upward and i like to keep them like looking straight so i always make sure that my arch isn't too much but yeah, I'm going to do the other eyebrow and we'll be right back. So now that I have them filled in, I'm just going to go ahead and take my same concealer, same concealer brush, make them sharp and nice and clean. And then I'll just blend it out. Yes. I'm going to do the other eyebrow and I'll be right back. This is the finished look of the brows. I get them to look as close as I can to each other, but this is the best they're going to get. I'm just going to go ahead and take some of that MAC Fix Studio Powder and go ahead and set the top of my eyebrows again. So that's the finished look with the brows. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury It's So Dirty and Nasty, but Flip Star Bronzing Glow. <clears throat> I'm just going to be using their highlighter on the tip of my nose, kind of in the middle, a little bit on the eyebrow arches, and just a dash of it on my cheekbones. I don't like too much highlighter like I used to, you guys. I don't like looking like a glazed donut all the way anymore. Sad to say. I'm going to use this Colossal Mascara by Maybelline. This is one of the OGs I used in high school, and I still use it now. I messed up my eyelashes. When I had eyelash extensions, I decided to pick them out. Don't ever do that. That was the first time I do it, and it's going to be the last because now I do not have my nice eyelashes anymore. Learn from my mistakes. I'm just giving them a thin coat because we're going to put falsies on anyway. I'm going to set my face with this MAC Fix setting spray. Put a good layer on there, and I use my little fan in the dollar store. Good energy. Good energy. Okay, guys. Now we're going to get into this lip combo. I use the She Glam Lip Pencil in So Lippy Lip Liner. I use this all the time. I put on chapstick and it actually makes it a smooth application. So that's a little hack. Then I use the She Glam Lip Oil in Jelly Wow. This is such a cute combo. And then I use any eyeliner really, but I really like the Stila eyeliners. This is a liquid one, and I just get my beauty mark so I don't look too cakey. That one I really do have, but then I like to add a few more. Now I'm just applying these falsies by Lily Lashes. They're in cash, and I've already used these like two times, so don't come for me. I use the Lily Lash Glue as well. You want to wait till the glue is um, almost clear before putting it on. Something like this, and then I'll clump them when they're dry. I like to touch the corners and just, you know, press on the ends right there to make sure it's secure. I'm going to show you guys how to get a wing that is nice and cut and sling. Okay, let's do it. I use the Stila eyeliner. So I start from the outer corner of my eye and I literally just drag a line up. Just like that. Now I'm going to go from right here about midway and drag it down. And then I fill that in. And that's basically it. That's the whole idea of it. But just to make it a little bit more dramatic like this one, I'm going to go ahead and start building at the wing. Just like that. She's slaying the game. And of course, if you make any mistakes, you could just take a concealer brush, make sure it's nice and straight and cut the way you like it. That's about it for the eyeliner part. She slays. 
Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys did enjoy this and I hope I gave you some tips that you can use. Let me know if you guys have any more questions, if I missed anything, if you guys want tips on certain things that I didn't really get in depth about and I'll be so happy to do that. I really hope you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a like, comment, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting weekly you guys on the weekends so be sure to get your notifications on. Bye! Bye.